Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for always coming back, clicking on these words to hear what God is saying through my mouth. God bless you. If this is the first time you're seeing me, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm the man that God uses. I'm the man that God is using right now. I bring you a fresh word in Jesus' mighty name. I have a word from the Lord. God says they act like the victim, although they hurt you. My God, this is crazy. There are people who act like they are the victims, although they are at fault. I wrote it down so that I can remember exactly how, what God says. They are the ones who hurt you. They are the ones who are wrong, but they act like you are the one that hurt them. They act like you are their victimizers. God has a word. God has something to say about that. So what I see in the spirit realm is that there is somebody right about now you are connected on this platform and this is a specific word. I want you to listen to the end. They have hurt you, but they act like you hurt them. They have done evil to you. Huh? And they expect you to apologize. This is crazy. It's crazy because, you see, as we go on our lives, you meet all kinds of people. You meet people who know that they are doing wrong to you and they keep turning the knife. They keep turning it. They keep trying to get you to that worst state. And then they expect you to apologize for what they did wrong to you. You might be there right now as we are speaking where somebody has cheated on you and the person is acting up because you acted up. I don't know if you understand that. Somebody did something and you only reacted. Now your reaction looks like you are victimizing them. Whereas you are the one that is in pain. There is probably somebody who has done something to you and expects you to smile over it, smile about it. When you decide to react in a certain way, they say, huh, see the way you are reacting and I'm, I'm being hurt. But they fail to understand that you are not acting, you are reacting. Reacting means you are responding to something that was done against you. There are so many people in our world like that. There are people around us who just want to keep you in a, in a point of hurt and don't want you to say nothing. The moment you open your mouth and speak up against the oppression, they say you have done wrong. You need to build yourself and build your guard and understand the, that there are people like that. I mean, the image that I'm seeing is just imagine. So somebody walks into your house and starts throwing all your stuff on the ground. And you start shouting like, hey, stop touching my stuff. And the person begins to cry. And when people gather, they say, why are you crying? The person says, he or she has shouted at me. Shouting at me? He was victimizing me. And then in your mind, you're like, what's going on here? This is the person who walked in here. Maybe it has happened to you in your relationship. Maybe it has happened in your job where somebody frames you up and begins to cry. I can never forget I had a situation like that some years ago. When someone was lying against me, and then when everybody came around to hear the story, the person was shedding tears. I was embarrassed. <laughs> I stood there thinking, what's going on? This person did this to me, and now the person is saying, I did it. God is saying you should develop wisdom. Build fortitude to, you know, to stand when such people do those kind of things to you. And understand that God will vindicate you. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That is when God shows up the most for you. I believe he will. I believe that God will show up for you in this. If you are the one I'm talking to, you are in this situation right now, the truth will come out. And the truth will prevail in the name of Jesus. I declare you are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? Shalom.